Hi guys, so today we're going to be working on this nail design here. You're going to need a few things, so I'm going to go ahead and run through those. You're going to need a scraper and stamper. You're also going to need your stamping plate. Today I'm using Queen 121. You're going to need your stamping polish. The colors that I use today are neon blue and red, and those are from MDU. Optional is to use a latex barrier if you want to protect your cuticles. You're also going to need your base and top coat. Today I'm using DIY or Die Hard Nails. The three colors that I chose to use today is Blue Velvet, which is a beautiful blue color. White Out, which is just a solid white with no glitter or shimmer in it. And Red Carpet, which is a beautiful red color. You're also going to need alcohol and an LED or UV lamp and possibly acetone to help clean up. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Go ahead and start with a thin layer of your base coat and then cure. You always want to start with clean prepped nails. Today we're going to start by painting our pointer finger red, our middle and ring finger white, and then our pinky blue, and then I'm also going to do my thumb white, but of course you can mix it up however you like. Go ahead and apply two to three coats or until opaque, curing in between each layer, and I'll meet you guys right back as soon as I do that. Once you've got that color built up and cured for the last time, go ahead and remove the tacky layer so we can do our stamping. I'm using rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol, 91%. You can pick that up at any pharmacy and most stores. Design. So for this next part of the design, we're going to be using this plate and I'm going to be using this image here. I'm going to go ahead and place the polish down on the plate alternating the colors so I can do stripes on my nails. Now you could definitely stop here and just go ahead and top coat. I'm going to go ahead and add something to the pointer, to the pointer and pinky. So once you get your stamping done and it's had a chance to dry, go ahead and apply your top coat. You want to make sure that you cap your design. And also when you're doing your stamping, make sure that you don't run your scraper over too many times or you'll get blending like I got there. So go ahead and put that into the light. Do any cleanup that you need to do around the cuticles and I'll be right back to show you the final design. Once you've cured the top coat, go ahead and remove the tacky layer with alcohol. I like to use 